here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Stuart. Today we're going to be reading a story from the Veggie Tales called Lost in Place. Lost in Place? Huh. Wonder what this one's going to be about. Well, let's find out. <laughs> here we go. Junior, come out. Come out wherever you are, Laura called. You'll never find me. Junior Asparagus giggled as he darted down an alley and ran out onto a sidewalk. He dove behind some bushes and snuggled into a hiding spot. After a few minutes, Junior peeked around the bushes. No sign of Laura. In fact, there was no sign of anything familiar. Where was he? The sun began to set and darkness crept in. Still no sign of Laura. Junior slipped out from behind the bushes. He looked to his left, then to his right. He didn't know the way home. Uh-oh. That's not good. Meanwhile, back at the asparagus house, Laura described to Junior's mom and dad what happened. I called and called his name, but he never came out, she cried. Junior's mom and dad looked at each other. Where could Junior be? In the meantime, Junior tried to find his way home. He didn't recognize anything or anyone. Turning a corner, he headed down a dark alley. Was it just his imagination, or was something watching him? As Junior neared the end of the alley, a large square shadow with heavy footsteps approached. Uh-oh, who's that? Footsteps, Junior mumbled, in Veggie Town? Startled by the sound, Junior turned and ran the opposite direction. At the other end of the alley, two large shadows moved toward him. Junior heard heavy breathing. He choked back a tear. Junior, called one of the figures. How do they know my name, he thought. Junior, where are you, called the other voice. It was his mom and dad. Yeah. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I was really scared, Junior confessed. A big monster was chasing after me. Do you mean this nice police officer? asked Junior's mom. Junior turned around to see an officer smiling down at him. We were worried too, Junior, said his dad. He was out of breath after running all over Vegetown. But God watches over you. He's with you wherever you go. If you put your trust in God, he will make you strong and help you through anything you're afraid of, added his mom. Junior was glad to hear that, but he just wanted to go home. Yeah, I get that. The next day, Junior refused to leave the house. Percy P. asked him to go to the park. Laura Carrot asked him to ride bikes. His mom and dad encouraged him to go over to a friend's house. But Junior was too afraid to go anywhere. Let's go to the Treasure Trove bookstore, Junior's mom suggested. You can pick out a good book to read if you're going to stay home all day. At the bookstore, Miss Asparagus told Mr. O'Malley that Junior got lost. She asked him to help them find a good adventure to read. I, it just so happens I have a story that takes place in outer space. Let's see, where is it now? The Irish potato shuffled through some of the books and said, here we go. It's right between the using your noodle when you doodle books and God is bigger than the boogeyman. It's called Lost in Place. Take a look at it, lad. Inside the storybook, Junior saw a spaceship flying through a galaxy filled with stars and planets. Ooh, that sounds like a fun book. At that very moment, four words lifted up from the galaxy and swirled around Junior. Four little words tumbling and twirling throughout shooting stars. Once upon a time. Here we go. All at once, whoosh! Junior was caught up in the stars and went racing tumbling, twirling, and landed right inside a spaceship. The ship's new crew member is here, Don Quest called out to the Rattleson family. Welcome to the Jitterbug 2. <gasps> He's on a spaceship now. Huh? asked Junior, nervously looking around. Once again, he found himself in unfamiliar territory. What happened to the Jitterbug 1? Junior asked. That bug lost its jitter in a meteor storm last year but I got this ship up and running in no time, 
and we're back on course. This ship can jitterbug, do the Watusi, and dance a pretty mean hokey pokey. A gourd with squinty eyes turned away from his telescope so he could analyze Junior. What kind of experience do you have? Um, Blink Junior, that's Dr. Smirk, our ship scientist, Mr. Rattleson explained. But his way of doing things is a little different, if you ask me, he whispered. The Rattleson family is on their way to find a new home in the Alpha Beta solar system. Ooh, sounds cool. But we can't find our way, Dr. Smirk sneered. We keep getting lost, added Mr. Rattleson as he checked several instruments on the Jitterbug 2. Lost is an accurate answer, beeped the robot. Dr. Smirk's direction formulas are incorrect. We didn't ask for your opinion, robot, barked Dr. Smirk. How do you do, Paul Rattleson said, changing the subject. We're the Rattleson family. This here's the rest of the clan. Ma, Penny, Will, and Judy. Howdy, said Ma. Can he help us find our way through this here solar system? Pa, asked Will. Me? Junior asked, surprised. Looks like they need Junior's help. Just then, the ship began to jitter. Hang on, everybody, called Ma Rattleson. How do we do that, Ma? asked Judy, looking down at her sides. The ship veered to the left, and everyone tipped left. The ship veered to the right, and everyone rolled back to the right. Then the ship bobbled up and down. It's a meteor shower, Don yelled. Everyone grabbed a shower cap and ran frantically around the ship. I'll get some shampoo. I'll get the fresh towels. I'll get an umbrella. <laughs> That's not how a meteor shower works. Silly. Get out of my way, you frazzled frizzle brain, Will grumbled. You get out of my way, you jittery jumping bean, Penny griped in return. Stop your fighting. We're in a crisis, yelled Maul Radisson. The Jitterbug 2 crew bumped this way and that, causing more problems than helping. Then came the dreaded words. We're off course. We've lost our place in space. Again. Everyone stopped. They stared at the robot as he confirmed the announcement. Oh no, gulped Junior. He knew his mom and dad wouldn't be able to save him this time. Ah, screamed the Rattlesons. Uh-oh, they're lost in place in space when suddenly they heard someone yell stop um er we probably shouldn't panic junior suggested as he took a big gulp of air everyone stopped to stare at junior with all eyes focused on him junior wondered how he could help the crew of the jitterbug too have you ever thought that we're not alone in all this junior asked nope said will not me said judy not a chance, agreed Penny. Junior realized he felt alone, just like the others. Then said to himself, God watches over you. He is with you wherever you go. Yeah, that's true. Hey, everybody. God is watching over us right now, Junior began. He never leaves us, even when we're in a different solar system. Then Junior remembered his mom's words, too. If you put your trust in God... He will make you strong and help you through anything you're afraid of. And God wants us to trust him so he can help us find our way through anything. If we remember that, we can all figure out what to do. Everyone blinked and looked at each other. Could this be true? Yeah, it's true. Finally, Don Quest decided to speak. I just followed Dr. Smirk's orders. Is that true? Paul demanded. Dr. Smirk turned away. I didn't want to mislead you, but I heard the Alpha Beta solar system only like veggies who know their ABCs, he explained. I don't know mine, so I was afraid no one would like me. So you give us bad directions, gasped Judy. You went and got us lost on purpose, asked Will. <gasps> oh no. Dr. Smirk, you don't have to be afraid either, Junior said. No matter where you go, you're never alone because God is with you. It doesn't matter if you're lost or if you find yourself in a new situation. God will help you through anything. That message computes, agreed the robot. 
Do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. Isaiah 41.10 Don Quest buckled himself back in and turned the ship around, confident that God was watching over them. Ma and Pa turned back to the controls. We need some help cleaning the shampoo off these levers. That ain't gonna be a problem, Ma. God can help us get through anything, said Will. And I can help Dr. Smirk with his ABCs, said Penny. Dr. Smirk thanked Penny and started to work on a new formula. Knowing God was with him, he trusted he would find a new way to get to the Alpha Beta Solar System. So he inserted a new direction formula into the robot. Yeah, now they're all working together. Dr. Smirk's calculations are correct, confirmed the robot. We are back on course. Everyone cheer. As the ship headed into the Alpha Beta Solar System, several letters swirled into view. The end. Junior waved goodbye as he was pulled back through space. In a twinkling, Junior found himself back inside the Treasure Trove bookstore. Lost in place? asked Mr. Asparagus. Mr. O'Malley, do you have anything else? I don't think Junior wants to read about getting lost. That's okay, Mom. I'm never alone because God is with me, Junior told her. Aye, lad, that's true, Mr. O'Malley said with a wink. Just then, the little bell above the Treasure Trove bookstore's door began to twinkle. The family that entered looked just like the Rattleson family from the Jitterbug 2. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Excuse us, said the older grape. I think we're lost. We sure could use some directions. Aye, I'd be happy to help, sir, Mr. O'Malley said. What are you looking for? Planet Earth? Junior couldn't hide his surprise. Well, then there's no need to fear, Mr. O'Malley answered. You've already found it. <laughs> yeah. The end. Wow, what a good story from the Veggie Tales. At first, Junior and Laura were playing hide and seek, and Junior got lost. His mom and dad and the policeman found him, but Junior was still scared. And then his parents told him not to be afraid because God is always with you. And then he went to the Treasure Trove bookstore and found the book lost in place. And it just reiterated that Junior knew God was with him, not to be afraid. And he helped the others with that information. And at the end, he knew for sure that no matter what, God was with him, not to be afraid. Yeah. Don't forget that, kids. God is always with you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya. Thanks for watching. See you next time.